there are times when we have to import the existing infrastructure in the Terraform a repository or Terraform code or you can say the state file. A wonderful example that I, I saw or have been through is there was a migration and uh, which involved the tools like ASR and third-party tools like you know uh, River Meadow or other tools so what I'm trying to say when we migrate we migrate with the help of tool and on the it, it was a lift and shift migration so on the Azure side uh, more than 50% of the infrastructure was migrated from the on-premises but there were also a greenfield servers that we have created with the help of Terraform at the end of the project uh, customer came up with this request they want to manage the entire infrastructure with the help of Terraform but there was like 40% of infrastructure was new that we have created all the greenfield VMs or the landing zone at the beginning of the migration like virtual network and NSGs and things like that with the help of uh, Terraform so we had those things in the in the code but we never had the migrated infrastructure in the code okay so in situations where we need to uh, we, we should have the information your Terraform should have the information of existing infrastructure you can use this command this is very helpful but the only setback is right now it will Im 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 import only a single resource at a time if you have so many resources you have to do a little more effort but it's good to know there is something which will help you to import okay so let's see how we can do that right now let me create one directory uh, test 04 okay it's a uh, PowerShell not bash so it will be new item then okay let me call it input.tf and it's a file okay if it would have been bash or WSL we have we could use, we could use touch nano or cat things like that but it's PowerShell so new item is good enough so this is what we are looking for this is the directory now I have to provide the information of first of all the provider okay you, you can we can suppose let, let's suppose this is your entire TF infrastructure under this uh, directory we have all the uh, Terraform modules or workspace that we have generated is here but test for is all the imported infrastructure that the, the infrastructure would already exist and you have imported everything in the state file is here okay let's suppose this way right now it is not like that but I'm just saying okay so we need provider for sure provider that is Azure RM all right Am I here? No, I was not. Close this. All right, import provider Azure RM, and we need the features here. That's it for the beginning of our Terraform code. Now, I need to cd into test04, try to init, uh, 
okay what it says terraform initialized in an empty directory it should not be empty okay it is empty because I've created this move now it is fine all right so uh, till now we are not doing anything so do not worry about it so it will start now it is initiated now we need to write a code to import the resources now I have a resource group I have a virtual network I have Azure RM network interface that we can we, I have already created just to save time and we can import it here now you can see right now it's dot terraform created because we initialized it and we do not have anything else okay so we need to type here the resource type and the name okay so in our case it would be uh, sorry resource resource what is the resource that we have Azure RM underscore resource group as I said we have the resource group that we can import give it a logical name let me call it uh, RG that's fine RG okay and let's do this <coughs> now initialize it one more time just to be on the safer side and then the command I have to run is terraform import okay now after typing terraform import you need to type the resource type which is this Azure resource group okay then you need to give a reference to the logical name that you have given in the code that is RG in our scenario and then we have to give a little space a single space and provide the resource ID okay uh, you can easily get the resource ID from uh, properties of the resource okay and you can also get it with the help of uh, PowerShell and command line by querying the ID okay so let's go ahead and grab the ID so this is my import RG this is the resource ID that we need okay so get back to your location and you'll find the resource ID in the properties of every resource in Azure so I have already pasted it here let's hit enter and it will take a little time and it will start importing this uh, resource which was already there and you would have the state file you see that it says import successful so now if you go into your terraform state file you'll find the resource group you see that or if you go and type terraform state list you'll get the resource group that's how you import it now as I said I do have the uh, network interface created so just enter resource network interface let's give it a name as example and we gotta do terraform import azure rm interface dot example then we need to get the resource ID let me quickly grab it all right so I grab the resource ID and hit enter so the basic idea is you, you can import the existing infrastructure uh, in your terraform state file right now you would have all the information in the state file and if you do terraform state list 
you'll get this information and these resources are not been created by terraform but terraform is aware about these resources so terraform import is something that could help you in the scenario in the scenarios that we discussed at the beginning of this call well thank you for watching and you have a good day